Hello, this is Todd Foisey with an important weather briefing for a potential high-impact ice event Saturday night through Sunday night. We're going to cover a quick summary of the event and then get into the hazard risk assessment, the situation, impacts, and time frame. So first of all, it's important to note that this is two events. Event number one is a low-impact advisory today and tonight. This is not the main event. Today and tonight's event will feature four to six inches of snow over the north and one to three inches of snow down east with a little ice accumulation down east but the bigger event is a potential high impact event Saturday night to Sunday night with up to three quarters inch of ice accretion being the greatest threat. To put this in perspective, this is a rare high impact event. We do not think it will be of the magnitude of the 1998 ice storm, but there will be power outages somewhere around interior down east along with significant disruption to travel. Here's basically what's causing the problem Saturday night to Sunday night. Warm, moist air from the southwest will move in aloft over the cold air that is in place of remain, leading to an area of sleet and freezing rain. Again, our greatest concern is the potential for up to three quarters inch of ice accretion over the area highlighted in blue here from Saturday night to Sunday night, and of course extending further southwest into the area covered by the Portland Gray office in southwest Maine. Right along the coast, we are looking for up to one fourth inch of ice. North of the blue area, however, we think it will be mostly snow with an additional 8 to 12 inches on top of what falls today and tonight, with only a very small amount of ice. Also, load on roofs over southern half of the area may be a concern with a significant amount of precipitation falling not as snow atop already heavily snow-covered roofs. Here's a summary of what to expect Saturday night to Sunday night. I'd also like to add that much colder air will move in Tuesday and Wednesday with highs 5 to 15 above and lows Wednesday morning 0 to 15 below. There will also be some wind behind the system with up to 15 to 25 miles per hour on Tuesday. We will continue to update the briefing through the event. Have a nice day!